So you're not able to find that sump line or that sump basin that we use. Let me show you a great alternative. It works best in the crawl space. I have tried it outside and it's okay, but it's best in the crawl space. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to be putting in a sump pump in a crawl space. We've got our M53. Need a few parts here, just you know, the inch and a half uh, fittings and pipe and a check valve. And we'll be going over to the job site. Let's take a look show you guys how to do this it is really simple take you maybe an hour by yourself and you'll be done solve that crawl space problem if you look carefully over there you'll see a core there's an old terracotta pipe that runs through the through the wall right on top of the foundation actually about a brick above and of course water has to flood you know up into that pipe before it can discharge you can see how muddy it is so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a sump pit right here and then we're going to put a sump pump down in there gravel all around the pit come up we're going to go right through this brick wall that's where we'll discharge to we'll go on the outside we'll drill back through the through the brick to bring it inside so let's get started so you can see we quickly fill up a bucket we'll take that bucket lift it out Pour it in a wheelbarrow. That way we can get rid of our soil, keep our buckets back down in the trench or in the crawl space so that one guy can keep digging the pit. Take him about an hour to dig that, maybe 40 minutes. This soil is really hard. Once he gets down there a little ways, a little bit it'll be a, a little bit easier. So while those guys are digging the pit and removing the soil, we're going to go ahead and use our hammer drill with a two inch diamond core bit to core this foundation wall. And the way that we find the measurement for that is we're six bricks over. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and we want to, don't go too high, we want to be down here at this level. So I already put an X there. We want to go right through the center of this brick, and this will be for the discharge of the sump pump. We'll bring the inch and a half pipe out, go down into the ground, and we're just gonna discharge it you know, right out here into the yard. So, so let's get started. You know, I've shown how to pour the wall so many videos, but this one I'm just gonna let run. And you can see how long this actually takes to go through a four inch brick, solid brick, and I'm gonna hammer drill right through there. And this is such an important part of what we do. We need to bring that inch and a half pipe from the sump pump out through the wall. We don't wanna send it out through a vent. That would look really tacky. So we wanna pour it right through the wall. And again, I know I've shown this so many times, but I mean, it only takes me maybe four or five minutes at the very most to core through a four inch brick all the way through. And I'm almost done, take a look. You can rent this tool from almost any good tool rental company. And they usually throw in the core, not always, but they usually give you the core at no extra charge. So the drill costs about 60 bucks for half a day. And you can see, I mean, that took me what? three, four minutes to do. So make real quick work of coring that brick. You can see we're all the way through. You can see Chuck in there digging. This is where we're gonna put our inch and a half PVC. Great tool, Bosch hammer drill. You can rent this at any Home Depot or tool rental or make your life easy. Okay, so with your core drilled through the foundation, here's your two inch hole. That is the exact outer diameter of our inch and a half. We can slide this right through. You can see it goes through there really easy. In and out. And what we'll do is go inside, we'll plumb the sump pump from the pit up and make the connection inside, come out, we'll cut this off, goes down into the ground. And basically we're just gonna discharge you know, out here into this. Uh, out here on the outside, we're gonna go ahead and cut this inch and a half pipe right here, put a 90 on it.
real simple. Let's go ahead and dry fit this before we glue it. We'll put a 90 on it right here. And next, we'll make a little measurement down to the next 90 using this little guy. And all we're gonna do is send it across the ground so that it gets out here to the end of the natural area. We just use our saw as a measurement. Straight forward. Before we glue it, we always just set it up. And then we're gonna take this piece of inch and a half. We'll hook it onto the bottom and we're just gonna plumb it right out through there. A hefty, yeah, this is, I'm sorry, this is a brute, a hefty brute. You can get these at any hardware store. They're about $25. They come with a solid lid and this is a real strong material. Works exactly the same as your sump liner from you know, the basin itself. Same size, 32 gallons, two feet deep. And what we have to do is go ahead and perforate that. So we're gonna use a big drill. We're gonna put holes all the way around it, a couple in the bottom so it doesn't float up. We're gonna surround this pit with gravel. That, that allows the water to just percolate right into your sump pump, into your sump pit. Sump pump lifts it up, takes it away. One other thing that we're going to do here is we're going to drill a four inch hole right in the side of the pit that is for the footer tile to be added in the future because I know that this, crump, this crawl space is going to need to have a footer tile. So, but right now the homeowner is just saying put the sump pump in there and a discharge, so that's what we're doing. But this will be able to attach the gravel perforated pipe, four inch pipe. Let's go ahead and drill this hole. be our our entry point so this will be where the footer tile will attach in the future you can easily drill another hole in the other side we're actually going to give them a small piece of gravel perforated pipe that really helps the water come in when it starts to rain so you can see all the holes that we just put all over this sump liner and again what that's doing is it allows there's going to be gravel out here on the outside Water comes through the gravel, enters through the holes, into the pit, some pump, lifts it up, carries it away. So let's go ahead and install. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set up our Zoller M53. It's called a Mighty Mate, one third of a horsepower, very powerful pump. Cast iron, body, very heavy actually for its size. And um, get this wire cord out of here and as always first thing we're going to do is put a threaded threaded male inch and a half adapter this goes right into the discharge of the pump and we just screw that in hand tight next we just need a piece of PVC to get above this bar a little riser so we're going to go ahead and just dry fit this for right now. You can see the top of it up here. And then we're going to put the check valve on here. Check valve only lets water go one way. And you can see this one has a nice arrow. It says flow that direction so we know which way it goes. That goes right up here on the top. So you can see it. <clears throat> There's our check valve. Then we're going to use our 5 16 inch drill. We'll t tighten up these clamps to hold this. This is a no-hub. They're just rubber adapters, but very secure, very strong. They just hold this pipe together so that you can put this type of a fitting in here. Then, of course, our riser will come up from here, out of the pit, turn and go through the wall. So let's go ahead and tighten these clamps up. And we're almost ready to install. So if you remember, we went ahead and already set our sump 
pump up outside. This is Zoller M53. I've already got half of it done here. We're setting it down into the bottom of the pit. You can see nice solid bottom. Our float, when it fills up with water, is going to kick on and off. We've got our check valve. Now we're going to go ahead and plumb uh, this pipe up and over here to where we've got the core. So now we're ready to glue up our fittings. We've got our riser coming up. We're going to glue up the fittings. You'll see how this sets up, we're running it over to the wall and then across the wall. My 90 here. Next, I'm going to glue this 90. Because this pipe I can move around. And we're actually going to come downhill a little bit to the pump, to the pipe. So now we're ready to make our final connection. We're going to put glue on both of them so that we can hook them up at the right proper angle, maybe. <laughs> Push and hold, get it right up to the wall, get rid of the cramps in the legs, <laughs> and there we go. So we've got this plumbed out. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to take this back apart. We're going to take this back apart so we can drill a hole here for the riser. We've got our pit installed, check it out, cord, hole for the riser. We're going to snap that in place, then we're going to add gravel and we're just pretty much done inside here. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Everybody, Nash and Joe with the Tampa Drain Dudes. We are incredibly excited to announce that we are now partnered with Apple Drains. And what that means is that we are going to be taking over all of their clientele in this Tampa Bay area, which also includes... We're going to go as far north as Brooksville. We're going to go as far east as Lakeland and south as South Tampa, St. Petersburg area. If the job is the right size and we really need to help our clients out, we'll go a little bit more north, a little bit more east, and a little bit more south, just depending on what you guys' needs are. Joe, you got anything to add? We're gonna cover all exterior drainage that you may need, French drains, sump pumps, channel drains, gutter downspout redirection, all that good stuff. So check us out, tampadraindudes.com. We are incredibly happy and thankful for this experience to partner with Chuck from Apple Drains.